Hello, Mass 7 students. Um, we are beginning our 23rd video, and it is called Unit Rate as a Scale Factor, and we can find that on page um, 33 of my comp book. So let me turn there. Um, you will not be on the same page as me because my pages are a little bit out of order. Um, so our lesson for today is the unit rate as a scale factor. So we have a couple of more lessons to finish this off, um, working with unit rates and proportional relationships. Um, just as a quick review, a very, very long time ago review, um, another lesson that we did was relating scale drawings to ratios and rates. And this was the one of trying to figure out Today we are going to learn how to identify a reduction or an enlargement of an original picture. The question is, how do you tell if the scale drawing is an enlargement or a reduction? And then I gave you the definition for all of those and you had to draw pictures of scale drawings. So a scale drawing is a drawing that has been made smaller or larger than the original. An enlargement is a scale drawing that is bigger than the original. A reduction is a scale drawing that is smaller than the original. And then here were the examples. So here is my original drawing of the flag. Here is a scale drawing that is considered a reduction because it's smaller than the original. And here is a scale drawing that's considered an enlargement because it's larger than the original. Okay? So you're going to practice this stuff tomorrow in class along with today's lesson. So today's lesson is the unit rate as a scale factor. So we've been talking about for a while that unit rate has many names. We know that the unit rate is the same thing as a constant, which is the same thing as the M. Well, now we're going to add one more thing to unit rate, and it is called a scale factor. Okay, And we're going to talk about what a scale factor is and what it does. But what you need to know is that all of these things are exactly the same thing. And the way we find it is by taking the y, which is the dependent variable, and divide it by the x, which is the independent variable when you're talking about a ratio table. So remember, it goes x, y, and then you take the y divided by x to find all of these things, which happen to be the same thing. Okay, so our goal for today. Today we are going to learn another name for the constant, okay? And the question I want you to be thinking about is, what is another name for the constant or the unit rate of the relationship? But by the end of this lesson, I need you to be able to tell me what that's called. All right, so we have lots of kids in this world who like to play video games. And so what we have is we have a video game advertising. Okay, and Jake has decided that he wants to come up with um, – a new sticker to promote his video game that he created um, for you guys to play on the computer. So this is called Jake's Icon. The original um, icon is one inch. The sticker that he's making is two inches. Okay, um, And so that's this side right here of the original is one inch. In the sticker, that corresponds with two inches. On the original, the depth of the icon is three quarters of an inch. On the um, sticker, it's one and a half. On the bottom of the original, it's one inch. And on the sticker, it's two. And then for the um, other depth over here, it's seven eighths of an inch. And so on the um, sticker, it's one and three fourths. So your job basically is to determine, is the sticker proportional to the original? And then we have to determine if it's an enlargement or a reduction. So basically, you're taking this table, which the original is going to be the x. So we're going to put 1, 2, 3 fourths to 1 and a half, 1 to 2, and 7 eighths to 1 and 3 fourths. Okay? And now we have to determine, is it proportional? So the way we do that is by taking y divided by x. So the first one, we're going to do 2 divided by 1, and we get 2. Now we're going to take 1 and a half divided by 3 quarters, and we have to do some division. So this is really 1, that's 1, right? And a half, this is a half. So we see 1, 2, 3. So this is really 3 halves divided by 3 fourths, okay? And so now we have to find a common denominator 
So the way we do that is we can say that fourths is the common denominator. So to get from two to four, you multiply it by two. What you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So this is really six fourths divided by three fourths. And let's figure out what that is. Four divided by four is one. Six divided by three is two. So the answer is two. Ha ha, ta da. So far so good, okay? So now we're gonna do the next one which is two divided by one, which equals two. And then our last one is y divided by x. So now we have one more that we have to figure out. Okay, so one and three fourths, so let's draw that one. One, two, three, four makes one, and three fourths makes three fourths. So that means we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is really seven fourths divided by seven eighths and we have to find a common denominator. Common denominator is going to be eight. How did we get from four to eight? Times two, what you do to one side, you have to do the other, so 14 eighths divided by seven eighths. Eight divided by eight is one. 14 divided by seven is two, so the answer is two. Okay, look at your constant. Look at your unit rate. Look at your scale factor. So our scale factor for this sticker problem is two. So the question is, is the sticker proportional to the original? And your answer would be yes, because the scale factor, write that down, the scale factor equals two. So we're good to go. Okay, so now if this, the original, is smaller than the new drawing, is it an enlargement or a reduction? If you said enlargement, you are correct, because the original was smaller than the picture, so it is a, an enlargement. Okay, so our answer on this one would be enlargement. So two answers, scale factor equals two, and the um, sticker is an enlargement of the original. Okay, boys and girls, how are you feeling with that? Hopefully you're feeling okay. So we have another one that I want you to try now that you know how to do it. Okay. So this one is called an app icon. So we had the original that sat on the desktop. Then he wanted to make stickers to hand out to all of his friends to go play his game. And now his game has gotten so big that he wants to make an app on the iPad and on um, the Android devices. And so he's coming up with an app icon. And these are the sizes for that. So your job, again, is to figure out is the app um, proportional to the original. So the original, again, was one and a half was the app, three quarters, three eighths for the app, one for the original, a half for the app, and seven eighths and seven sixteenths for the app. So remember, this is the original and this is the app, okay? And so our job is to take y divided by x so we have one half divided by one. What is one half divided by one equals one half? You are correct. Okay, so now we have to take three eighths divided by three fourths. So we find a common denominator and we have eight. So this would be three eighths divided by six fourths, or six eighths, excuse me, divide straight across. Eight divided by eight is one. 3 divided by 6 is 3 sixths, which can simplify to a half. So far, so good. Look, kiddos. Okay, 1 half divided by 1 equals 1 half. Okay, and then the last one to check. 7 sixteenths divided by 7 eighths. So we have to find a common denominator. This time it's 16. So we have 7 sixteenths divided by 14 sixteenths, because you have to multiply this by 2. What you do to one side, you have to do to the other. Divide straight across. 16 divided by 16 is 1. 7 divided by 14 is 7 fourteenths, which can be simplified to 1 half. Okay, so what is the scale factor, everybody? The scale factor equals 1 half. Is this an enlargement or a reduction? Here's the original. It was at 1. The app is at a half. So did we make it bigger or did we make it smaller? If you said smaller, you are correct. And so this is considered a reduction, okay? And boys and girls, this is what you're gonna do in class tomorrow.
We're just going to practice determining the scale factors, and we're going to practice determining whether it's an enlargement or a reduction. Your homework for these notes is to write the equation for scale factor. I'll give you a huge, gigantic hint. It's the same equation that we've been using for the last almost two months. Okay? So get that question finished. That's what you're going to see on the board in the morning, and I'll see you then. Have a good one. Bye!